many of the points made by my colleagues also apply to music. Um, but music is slightly different in relation to the structure of GCSE in that 60% is practical. And that was as a result of extremely hard lobbying by the ISM uh, towards the DfE because we were very concerned that if we didn't put forward cogent arguments, we would lose the practical element of music. You can't just do it on paper. You actually do have to pick up an instrument, sing, and listen, all those things which are absolutely fundamental to being a musician. Likewise, Key Stage 3 um, is quite brief in terms of what the national curriculum says and allows plenty of flexibility. That is not where the issue lies. Um, the problem, I'm afraid to say, is the accountability measures, which I know we're going to be talking about later. It is the impact of the, imp of the EBAC and Progress 8, which has marginalised the art subjects, uh, which do not count towards the Progress 8 buckets. As a result, if you're not a Progress 8 bucket, you fall to the bottom of the list. And uh, even the DfE's results from the consultation they carried out on the refreshed national plan for music education found music teachers saying children cannot get access to music in their secondary schools because of the impact of the accountability measures. Um, in terms of key stage three, what has been seen by Ofsted is that instead of taking the full three years, very often it's just two years, so that schools can then focus three years on key stage four, so that they can uh, somehow ensure that they get to the top of the accountability measures. So basically what's happening is schools have heard the call from the DfE as to what matters, and they are rejigging their timetable in order to deliver against those EBAC subjects. Mm -hmm.